Oh, would you not get the video? Bye. Bye, bye sweetie. We'll see you. Okay, bye. Take advantage of your knowledge when you're here. Sure. <laughs> okay, so um, say that, that that play, okay, that happened at second base, right? But say that the kid had run to third, right? And um, there's a play happening at first, but the kid at third gets interfered with, right? It means he gets obstructed. Obstructed. The, the, runner gets, the runners get obstructed, the defend, defensive players get interfered with. Okay, so he gets obstructed by the third baseman who's standing in the in the run line, right? Yeah. So the tank. So in that case, would he be? Now the play isn't at third base, right. so there's no question there. Um, but because he was obstructed, would you give him? Would you allow him to advance, well, or does he get to stay there? He's probably well. Did he get tripped up and did he go back to second? He, no, he got tripped up. He stays at third. Oh, he stays at third. He got the base he was entitled to then. Okay, that, that's it. You it's only like if base. you were out. You only get like a base well, awarded which, if. What you would have gotten, in my opinion, okay, he would only would have got third. That's it. Right. So that then that, that that becomes a moot point at that, at that time. So you got up higher judgment there on obstruction, of course, even interference because contact interference speaks for itself. Right. But you can run in front of that player and hinder him, impede him, uh, confuse him. It's all part of the interference. And that's what I think he did to that defensive player. The runner did. I got, I got time, runners out, okay, interference. And so, but it doesn't have to be contact, it doesn't have to be intentional. Some of you guys think it has to be intentional, it does not have to be. So, really, you need to examine the, the definition of interference. Get a rule book, okay, because a lot of this oh, stuff, yeah. then, you, then, then you understand it better. Yeah, I have the rule book here, and I'm also, I just ordered the, I just ordered the paper copy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, I like the book. Okay, yeah, I like the book too. Mark it up, tabs, and you got things you know that have significance. And right. Go right to it. You don't have to look at a screen. We're getting, we're getting screened to death. I agree.
It's got to be a foul. The situation is out. If you have two outs, you have to lift your five. Less than two outs, you got it.
Bases loaded and that pop up to the first base, right? Uh -huh, right. Yeah, was that infield fly? Um, bases Could loaded. Been. It was yeah. close, okay? Right. But it, but it, I, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, he's not going to catch it, okay? Right. So, but I could have, once I call infield fly, it right. it's out. Right. Okay, so no, I, it's not a reversible call. Right. So, again, now you got the judgment thing. I'm going, is it? Is it? No. It's, it went over his head. So, yeah, the last split, I was waiting for the last split second if I had to call it. Or not. Yeah. But just well, you have, good know, you have good instincts. Play. Yeah. You read the team and you read the team too. Well, you know, a little bit. Yeah. You have to. We love him.
another inning in they weren't gonna bat <laughs> right they, i mean they could have did some bonus batting but guess yeah. what the game's over it's what 10 to 1 11 to 1 something oh, like that something like that guess what yeah party's over so okay last last question before you go home <laughs> well, i gotta make a pit stop here uh oh um yeah that's right no um last question was okay so if, if one of these kids you know you call um you call a fourth ball but he's full count and he thinks it's um the kid thinks it's a strike and he makes it into the dugout. Is that an out or is that a warning? You know what? When, when something like that happens, then we're going to put him on first base because they don't know. You know, again, it's, on, on a drop third strike, he walks into the dugout. And when you have a drop third strike that's alive, he walks into the dugout, I'm going to call him out. In this game, it's a ball four. I'm going to tell him beforehand. Well, ball four, batter. Okay, go first. Right. I'm going to tell him. Okay. Right. Kind of it's called proactive, uh, preventative officiating where right. you have less troubles. You tell the kids what they need to do. 
You're not supposed right. to be a coach when you're an umpire, but I still coach. I tell these guys, don't turn your head, you right. know, do whatever. I want to see well, them it's hit It's supposed them. to be learning. I mean, you know what I right. mean? Right. It's, it's just a literally... learning experience. Right. And, and, and but, if he, but if he makes it into the dugout, um, now, is it enough? If he makes it, it into can... if he abandons his effort, you know what? I could ring him up, okay? You can't ring him up for abandoning his effort. That's what it would be called. Um, the batter's abandoning his effort. To, He's out, even on a ball four. He walks into the dugout. I mean, that's a pretty sad situation. Yeah. I don't think it's ever happened. Right. But on a hypothetical, right. yeah, I could, I could ring them up. And do they? And is um, a drop third strike a live ball at, at this in, level in no, minor A little league? No. Yeah, only, only in majors. Right. And, that, and they they changed that rule in majors about five years ago. It, right. I mean, even in majors, it was drop third was still an out five years ago. Yeah. Then they changed it to. to to get more in accordance with other right. other leagues, Cal Ripken, and, right. and at that level of the ball, they say you should be able to make that play. Right. But over here, it's still drop third, is still out. Right. And so, so yeah, but then you got to know, okay, was there a runner on first at the time of the third strike? And the drop third, if there was a runner on first and less than two outs, okay. He can that, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. but if there's not a runner on first right. and there's less than two outs, well, then the ball stays live, they have to tag him and throw him out of first. So you always gotta be be aware of your situation. Oh, I have to read up on that one. Your situational uh, thing. I mean, right. run on second and third, drop third. No, let's. Hey, he's, he can go to first. Right. So, so again, you, you gotta be aware as an I'm what, gonna have to read what, up on that one. What's going on? Right. Or else, I mean, you can you can look pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, you say batter's out and the base is open, and you're declaring them out. I mean, that's that's when the umpire is not aware of right. what's going on. So you always got to be reminding yourself, what's your situation, how many outs, who's on, what, what isn't, and what, what, le what level you're playing. Again, if I was <laughs> sure. majors, right. drop third, hey, it's, the ball stays alive. If there's less than two outs, nobody on. Right. So there's, there's so many little things that you have to be aware of. I mean, well, I've seen you. umpires out here call runners that left the base too soon because you know the ball yeah. has to cross the plate before right. they can leave the base. But I've seen them call them out, which was wrong, and then had a big confrontation about it because the umpire didn't know the basic rule about leaving the base too soon, okay? He just put them back. But he, he, he rang them up. So I have a big, long discussion, but it tells me he doesn't know the Little League rules, all right? right. So you can't always assume the umpires know the Little League well, rules. Yeah, and, and they are a and, different set of rules. I mean, that's why they do the book every year, right? softball, it uh, depends. No, it doesn't make any difference. If it's, if it's 8, 10, 12, you leave early, you're out. Dead ball, no pitch, dead ball, the runner's out. But it depends on what, and I've worked softball. Like right. What's going on over there? Right. So you always got to keep, 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 keep yourself aware of what your situation is. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I really appreciate you teaching me. And your name again? I'm Fritz. Thank oh, you, I've Fritz. been here now four years. What's your name again? Marisol. 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 Okay. Marisol. Yeah, thank you so name. much. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, anytime. You know what? I'm, I'm glad to share now because the more people understand and know the game, less problems I don't play ever Right. Have. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I had a game situation last night. The ball, the ball was hit, just to tell you. It went up the foul line. It was up, foul, yeah. foul, foul, foul. And it came in right before the bag, before it stopped, right? right. And I'm, just, the, the one guy said, that's a foul ball. It's in foul territory. Well, that's right. But the ball stopped in fair territory before the bag stayed in play. It's a fair ball. Right. If the ball hits the bag, it's still a fair ball. If it's touched in foul territory, then it's a foul ball. But if it's touched, if it's a foul, if it falls in the foul line, but it was touched first in the fair area, then that it's a fair ball, right? happened in this right? game. Right. It, it, That's it just a fair nipped ball. off his mitt, went in, and if the guy let it go, it would have spun into foul territory, it would have been a foul ball. But since he touched it and off of his mitt, right. now it's a fair ball. Right. And so that's when the umpire just points. You, just, right. you should never hear an umpire say fair ball. Right. He yells foul ball, and if it's fair ball, he just points. Right. That's an umpire that knows what he's doing. So I'm just telling you a little insight. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I noticed that. I noticed that, and if, I remember if, reading if, that role. If the umpire's yelling fair ball, guess what? <laughs> he's, he's a beginner. He's a beginner. He's a rookie. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Have a good night, Fred. Yeah.